But first, a Sacramento family mourning the senseless deaths of a mother and father, innocent bystanders, killed during a police pursuit. Thanks for joining us here at 10 tonight. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. The suspect on the run crashed into the couple's car. CBS 13's Steve Large is live in Sacramento with the family in mourning and how the community, Steve, is trying to help them through this heartbreak. Yeah, and this all started off as a road rage incident between two vehicles here on 65th. Police pursued and one of the vehicles crashed into this couple's car right here as they were leaving a parking lot. Family is devastated. Confused. It is a stunning loss. Katie Dang still can't believe her aunt and uncle are gone. But every night it just, the thoughts come back and then I cry for like hours thinking that this is the really the last time I get to see them. This is a photo of Bin Nguyen and Tiang Le from the family's altar honoring their lives. The couple, described as best friends, were also parents and leave behind a little girl and boy, both under 10. Impact 90, go through medics. Impact 90, uh, start medics. Go through multiple. Nguyen and Le were killed Saturday morning in a violent collision. Their family's SUV hit and left nearly unrecognizable during a Sacramento police pursuit of two vehicles involved in a road rage incident. The suspect driving this Mercedes hit their car. He was also seriously injured. A second suspect drove off and has not been found. Sacramento police released a statement. They are reviewing whether the pursuit was in department compliance. Very tragic, very tragic. Linda Louie is the president of the Sacramento Indochina Friendship Association, working with city leadership to help this Vietnamese American family through the senseless tragedy. If they're okay to it, I think this outpouring support will be coming to support them, um, you know, emotionally, spiritually, financially. A road rage race turned into a police pursuit and a deadly end. They're always together in the morning. They're together after work. They're together. They're driving home together. And then it's just really sweet. Heartbreaking. Katie tells me that her family is working to take custody of the couple's two children. And her message to everybody tonight is to drive safer.